I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series where I'm sharing with you solutions of questions from previous test paper of GCE. Now this is advanced mathematics and here we'll solve question number 8. The depth of water d meters in a harbor of a particular on a particular day is modeled by the formula d equals to 5 plus 2 sine 30 t where t is greater than or equal to 0 less than 24 where t is the number of hours after midnight the boat enters the harbor at 6 30 a.m and it takes two hours to load its cargo the boat requires the depth of water to be at least 3.8 meters before it can leave the harbor find the depth of water in the harbor when the boat enters the harbor part b is Find to the nearest minute the earliest time the boat can leave the harbor. We can use the calculator for solutions. Okay, so part A to find the depth of the water in the harbor when the boat enters. So boat enters at 6:30. That means time t in this case t is equal to six and a half hour. Right? Time t is in hours, t is in hours, 6.30 means 6.5 hours, correct, okay, that is the time. So to get this depth, we can say d equals to 5 plus 2 times sine of 30 times 6.5, clear? So let's use the calculator, find this answer. So we'll just do 2 times sine of 30 times 6.5 and then we are going to add 5 so in, we get this answer as 4.482 now all the answers should be given to three significant places so we'll write this to 4.48 and the units for d distance is in meters the depth is 4.48 meters clear so that is part a for us now part b is find to the nearest minute the earliest time when the boat can leave the harbor now it can leave the harbor if we have 3.8 meters right so so basically <clears throat> we'll equate the depth to 3.8 meters and find the time so now we can write 3.8 equals to 5 plus 2 times sine of 30 t so that gives us 3.8 minus 5 equals to 2 times sine of 30 t and uh, we can write this as 3.8 minus 5 i mean divide by 2 should be equal to sine 30 t okay so 3.8 minus 5 divided by 2 is equal to in decimals minus 0 0.6 is sine of 30 t right now minus means that we have two solutions sine is negative in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4 correct so what we'll do here is we'll find the acute angle alpha for which we have the value 0 0.6 and then we can find both these values clear so so what we are writing now is let me just uh, so i'm using very little space here so that you could see everything at one place right so we are saying sine alpha equals to 0 0.6 so alpha equals to sine inverse of 0 0.6 shift sine inverse 0 0.6 equals to we get this alpha as 36.869 so we'll round it to 9 is it clear so that is alpha for us 
all answers to three significant places. So that gives us a couple of values. Uh, that really means that we are looking into uh, values which could be, you know, like this, right? which could be like this, or plus 360, right? Okay. So basically, we can say, well, one of the angles, uh, theta 1, will be equal to 180 plus 36.9 degrees, right? Theta 2 could be 360 minus 36.9 degrees, correct? And theta 1, theta 2, which we're talking about, they are like 30t. Sine, this is theta 1. This is theta we're talking about. Is that clear to you? So which is 30t for us, clear? So let's find these angles. It is uh, 180 plus 36.9, which is... 216.9 and here we get the other angle as equal to 360 minus 36.9 it gives us uh, 323.1 okay now after dividing by 30 we get the value of t so 216.9 divided by 30 similarly here we could also uh, divide by 30 to get the value of time, right? So that time is 216.9 divided by 30 gives us uh, 7.23. Here we have 323.1 divided by 30 is 10.77. Uh, now, 7.23, that is time in hours, right? Now here, it is important to understand that the boat enters the harbor at 6.30 a.m. and it takes two hours to load, right? That means it is, it is after 8.30 the boat can leave, right? So this is not valid. However, this is valid. Is that clear to you? Correct? Now, we need to provide the answer to the nearest minute. Now, these are very important things to consider while you're answering, right? So, so we say time should be 10 hours and uh, how many minutes? Let's convert 77. So, 0.77 times 60, right? 0.77 times 60 gives us... Uh, 46 minutes so which basically is 10 hours and 46 minutes so this is find the nearest minute the earliest time the boat can leave the harbor right so so it could leave the harbor at 10:46 a.m. Is it clear? So that is how we are going to answer this question. Very interesting question, which uses many concepts. I hope you find the solution interesting. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.